Howdy, friendos. My name is Stuart, and in celebration of Pokemon Day, we're going to be doing another Pokemon video. Once you're done with this video, maybe go check out my Mewtwo, my Detective Pikachu, my Red, my Ash. Check out all those Pokemon videos we do. We also do a campaign. Maybe check that one out. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ding dong the bell, and do all those things that YouTubers are asking you to do, because it really does help the channel, especially when we plug at the beginning of videos. So, after all those plugs, it's time to get into our next character, and as you can see from the title card, we'll be covering the leader of Team Plasma and the foil to our main characters. Natural Harmonia Gropius, that is a real name, better known as N. So as a bit of context for some newer or just more casual Pokemon fans, the franchise itself, uh, with their villains up to this point, were very simple, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, we started the games in red and blue and gold and silver with mobsters who were just trying to steal powerful Pokemon in order to make a profit. Then we had two warring factions who wanted to save the world, either by creating more land or more water. Also silly, but understandable. And then prior to this game, we had a villain who was trying to undo the universe and basically become a Sephiroth. Um, bit of a jump, but moving on by Gen 5, after nearly 15 years of Pokemon releases, uh, we've come to N. N is often considered to be one of the most popular rivals and villains of the Pokemon franchise. In fact, he is the only villain or antagonist given the Pokemon trainer class outside of the main characters and the rivals. N quickly proved to be a very different kind of character within the Pokemon franchise, uh, and despite only appearing in two games. He was implied to have been originally raised by Pokemon and can even communicate and speak with them. And at some certain age, he was taken in by his adoptive father and worst dad, Getsus. Raised to be the one to rule the world and to help free Pokemon, N isn't used to humans uh, and has a rather intense distrust of them. As Getsus raised him, he was given the role of the public face and leader of Team Plasma, who are basically Pokemon PETA. Fuck those guys. The goal of Team Plasma is to liberate all Pokemon from their trainers and return them to their natural habitats. At least, that's what they say in the public. Unbeknownst to N, Team Plasma actually have this vague take over the world plan as well, and it's pretty damn easy to take over the world when your side is holding all the weapons and you disarm your civilian po- Also, Epstein didn't kill himself, and none of the clients have been arrested yet. Where were we? Anyway, N is filled with a childlike innocence and naivete who sincerely wants to improve the world with his actions and does what he believes is best for Pokemon altogether. Since he is leading a rebel team against conventional wisdom, norms, and societal society, <laughs> with the benefit to what he believes is an unrepresented group, we're actually going to label his starting alignment at Chaotic Good. We won't be covering the anime versions or the manga versions of this character. Instead, we are just going to be doing the end that appears in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. We will also be ordering the flashbacks in chronological order. Um, and also, unfortunately, we will not be covering anything in the new Pokemon mobile game, whatever that is, simply because I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> and with that out of the way, let's go. Yes, there was a little collateral damage, probably not important. My plan is great. Then why are you riding around on a motorcycle wearing an evil mask, stealing people's cards and laughing like a maniac? Does that sound like a hero? Well, when you put it like that, not really, but uh... Then what the hell, man? What the actual hell? Newly crowned, N watches a speech delivered by his foster father, Getsus Harmonia, in Accumula Town. Overhearing that a nearby Pokemon likes their new trainer, a stunned N approaches Hilbert and or Hilda. He learns they're the latest Pokedex holders and decides to test them and understand their Pokemon. Lawful neutral. Going to Nacreen City, N runs into our hat-wearing protagonist. This seems unrelated to Team Plasma's goals in town as N wants to test the trainer. He loses but decides that in order to change the world and help his friends, he will need Zekrom or Reshiram. He even hopes that once he becomes a hero, Hilbert slash Hilda will become his friend. Uh, neutral good? After Hilbert or Hilda discover Team Plasma in Nimbasa City, they run into N at the amusement park. N leads our hero to the Ferris wheel, stalling them so Team Plasma can escape. N also confesses that he's the leader of Team Plasma. Chaotic good. 
following his latest loss, N seems unfazed, saying that he'll become one of the heroes of legend with Reshram or Zekrom, defeat the champion Alder, and enforce his rule. He even goes so far as to challenge our protagonist to try to stop him. Chaotic good. As Hilbert or Hilda continue their Pokemon journey, N tells Getsus about his new rival. Wanting to test them, N orders the Shadow Triad to collect his rival and bring them deeper into the Charged Stone Caves. When they meet again, he asks if they have any dreams, hoping that they are similar and can stand on even footing. Future good. Frustrated by his loss, N wonders if and how this will make him worthy of the legendary Pokemon. He then confronts Professor Juniper about her job and sending trainers out with Pokemon. Unfortunately, because Juniper's response could be construed as, you stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine, this reaffirms N's mission statement, chaotic good. Doubling back to the start of the cave, N has a heart-to-heart -heart with one of the Plasma Grunts about releasing Pokemon, noting that the Pokemon seems sad. Feeling pressured to follow by example, the Grunt goes to release his own Pokemon before N stops him. He insists that now isn't the time, as Alder needs to be beaten and the Dragon needs to be awoken. Neutral good. Waiting outside Skylar's gym, N decides to speak to his rival's Pokemon. He does this as he wants an unbiased opinion about them and insists Pokemon don't lie. One glowing review later, and N actually softens. He lets Hilbert or Hilda know about Getsus' plan and begins to have reservations about separating Pokemon and trainers, which would now mean trainers like them. Atop Dragon Spiral Tower, N proves himself worthy and awakens one of the legendary dragons. Thrilled, N rushes to Victory Road and defeats the Elite Four and Alder, but not before telling Hilbert or Hilda that they must gain the other dragon and challenge him. Getsus even admits later that while this isn't necessary, N wants someone equal but opposite to face him. Lawful good. Beating the Elite Four with Hilbert, Hilda on their trail, N surprises everyone and beats Alder. Despite disliking Pokemon battles and what's at stake, N has an honest fight. Congratulations, Pokemon, and thanks, Alder. While still declaring Pokemon and humans will be forever separated. With one last challenge issued to his rival, N goes to his throne. I'm gonna go with Lawful Good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, stick with it. N discovers Hilbert or Hilda haven't awoken their dragon. Frustrated, N gives them a chance to run or fight an impossible battle. When the hero's stone does react, N translates for the opposite dragon and allows it to be battled and or captured. Awful good. After the protagonist proves themselves worthy, N heals their Pokemon and battles our hero, ensuring that there will be no question to who is right, truth or ideals. Lawful good, and Nat 20 fights. Having lost again, N finally begins to wonder if Juniper was onto something about different opinions being okay. Imagine. Too bad Getsus isn't going to stop Team Plasma's plans. Revealing his true malicious nature and ready to stop the interfering trainer, N goes against his father and heals Hilbert's, or Hilda's Pokemon. Neutral good. With Getsits defeated and captured for now, N becomes directionless. With Alder's forgiveness, N wonders if he is worthy of being a hero before leaving the only home he's ever known and the only friend he's ever made. Neutral. Howdy, friendos! Did you see those funny dice rolls and all of N's little dice rollers there? Well, rather than try to get Anthony to chill our campaign again, thanks buddy, instead I'll talk about the custom trainer classes that we made for Pokemon Tabletop United and Pokemon Tabletop Adventures over on our Patreon. Down in the description, there is a link to all three Patreon posts, which contain about five or so custom classes for those games. And you can get those posts along with our old lore packets and access to all of our uncut live streams for only $5 a month. Also, if you get on our Patreon list, you get, you know, you get a spot here at the end credits. Look at that. Look, you can see your name in there when I update the list. And if you're looking to experience a custom Pokemon D&D experience, be sure to check out those posts as well as our Pokemon D&D campaign using the card above and the links in the description. With Team Plasma in shambles, N eavesdrops on a few members and learns some of them will try to follow N's positive example and help Pokemon. Deciding he needs to learn more about the world, N leaves Unova. Neutral. For two years, N travels the world with his legendary dragon and learns about his place with Pokemon and people. He slowly learns of his talents and role and begins morphing from a divider to a bridge builder between humans and Pokemon. Neutral for the traveling and then lawful good for the bridge building. Hearing about Neo Team Plasma's attack on Opelucid City, N rushes to the giant chasm. He manages to save the latest protagonist, Nate, and or Rosa from dying via Getsus' Glacite. Hoping to save Unova without violence, N tries to get his father to stop, only for Getsus to DNA Digivolve. 
sorry. I mean, fuse Kiram with one of the legendary dragons together. With no other Pokemon to use and his father ready to kill another doofy hat-wearing trainer, and heals Nate's or Rose's party to beat his father. Neutral good. With his father beaten again and Team Plasma dissolving, and tries to connect with Getsus, even calling him father. He's rejected and allows the Shadow Triad to escape with Getsus, knowing his father won't be much harm now. Chaotic neutral. Thanking Nate slash Rosa, and admits that one day he hopes to get rid of the Pokeball. But with Pokemon and humans now living in harmony, he even tells Nate Rosa to challenge the Elite Four, a far cry from where he had begun his story. Neutral. And hangs around Unova, keeping mostly to himself. He bonds with Nate and or Rosa, admitting that they remind him of Hilbert and Hilda. He gives them a tour of the ruins of Plasma Castle and battles them. However, he hopes one day to meet the trainer who changed his life. Neutral good. N has been described as a bit of a game changer in the Pokemon universe. Team Rocket were criminals, Maxi and Archie were well-meaning but dumb, and Cyrus was just edgy and dumb. However, N actually does address a really interesting discussion that Pokemon fans have been having for years, and that is, do humans have the right to have dominion over these creatures? Honestly, it's a great question that even has their own real-world implications, and the discussion is so hard to tackle properly that the game pretty much gave up and had to create a second comically evil villain just to kind of distract the players from the fact that they really couldn't come up with a good answer for this. Pokemon in their world are really odd. Uh, they're like animals, but also possess a near-sentient-like intelligence, and if the Pokedex is to be believed, several of them are way beyond human intelligence, and in all honesty, Keeping them as battle pets is morally dubious at best, especially since the focus of the games is to collect them like dolls or stamps or something, or battling them like gladiators. N, as a human who could directly communicate with Pokemon, was gaslighted into being shown specifically abused creatures who wanted to be separate from humans. And while pretty much every human in this world lives in harmony with their Pokemon, the fact that Getsus had enough evidence to show him that this is a problem is alarming and it shows that even in their world, this is an issue. It's especially interesting to see that his flashbacks in Black and White 2, uh, that even during the course of the game, he had conflict within himself, and the fact that you can capture N's released rehabilitated Pokemon is a very nice touch that helps add a lot of value to Black and White 2. All in all, I do think N is a very strong villain or anti-hero for the main character. I just wish that we could either get a proper remake with a better delivered writing or something to better like demonstrate this conflict. Um, having Team Plasma cop out with an actual take over the world plan is is very frustrating uh, to me as someone who likes to examine this sort of stuff. Um, but I guess it's okay. And you know, the games have gotten admittedly a bit more interesting and like have you guys played Arceus yet that game is really good and like the conflict is at least I mean it's the gameplay is good <laughs> I've been playing it non-stop on our twitch with Alex and and by the time this video is up I'm sure you can see some super cuts over on our gaming channel uh, or you can come join us on our twitch so what do you guys think? Is there anyone else in the Pokemon world that we should cover? Uh, should we do deeper looks into the anime or anything like that? Um, I really don't want to cover a thousand episodes of a cartoon, but we'll try to figure out something. Uh, or maybe we should do, like, maybe, maybe some Digimon. I don't know. There's a lot of great options, and I'd be sure to love to see them in the comments below. And thank you to the patrons, and I'll see you next time.